um, you know, when you were a teenager, that's, for me, that's all I did. It was, you know, after school, I just listened to so much music. Um, and that gets harder as you get older, but, uh, yeah, so I would say I, I use music as my escape and as my way of life. Expand my horizons, I need to start doing it with people my age. So it's kind of the impetus behind the millennial blues and things like that. I mean, that's just the way it happens sometimes. And that's okay, but some have to try twice as hard to be considered half as good. Uh, maybe some of the female firefighters feel that way too. Have to try twice as hard to be considered. Don't become bitter, become better, and you'll be better off. Stressing out that I couldn't make a living at it anymore. I couldn't pay my bills anymore. And it was really stressful. So with getting that job, it was great. Because then pressure was off. I ended up, I'm, I didn't know I wanted to go in substance abuse. It turned out I adore that field. I went to uh, study a broad semester in China. And that was like really eye-opening about just the world and being in a completely different culture for like five months really changed my whole trajectory of life. I think mostly the, mo the, the music that's most important to us is the stuff we heard at a certain age. I think, that's, I think that's pretty much true for everybody. It doesn't mean we stop listening to new music or stop appreciating new things. I uh, so it, it definitely, but it has a, its rewards, um, but the, it's like the good is really good and then the bad is, you know, it can be very, you can get really, I mean, like I don't know about every, every artist, but you know, there are really dark times. Plus, homeschool always provided me with a bunch of freedom to do what I needed to do. So it was it was really nice being homeschooled. Mm -hmm. Like ran, I, I'm sure they were like, the I know the, the TV news, the riot police were confused because I ran like all the way like up to the riot police and I, I took a photo with my phone first because I was like, this is, a, this is. My camera back on the bench. We're trying to move over. Moose comes, sticks its nose in my camera bag, looks at me. We're going, oh my gosh, trying to get away from it. And then it goes over and lays down. Seek balance in work, seek balance in relationships. What are you talking about? And he was just like, stop, 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 stop. Just seek balance. And that's been something that I've been, I've been seeking ever since. Those words echo in my head every day. <laughs> Do you recall this conversation? <laughs> well, I uh, I've been after balance for a long time, so I don't I don't recall that specific conversation, but it's something that I've been seeking for quite a while in my life. And are you asking me if I've made any headway? Yeah, in I've that been seeking balance. Uh, headway where I think about it a lot more, I've probably made a little bit of headway in balance.